Hello and welcome to Plasto Tech English. So guys, today I'm going to show you the entire overview of injection molding machine. What are the things inside injection molding machine that I will show you in this particular video. Uh, in this particular video, I'm going to uh, show you what are the things, what are their uses, each and every single thing I will show you about injection molding machine. So guys, if you are new to our channel and yet not subscribe, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you, uh, it would be an easy for you to get an updated with our videos. So guys, here you can see uh, here it has been written as Forza that means uh, its name of the machine the name of the machine would be written like here and uh, IU means injection unit uh, it has been represented this section particularly is known as injection unit uh, the section where from uh, uh, which you do injection at all this particular uh, unit is called as injection unit our injection molding machine has completely been divided in two different parts one part is known as injection unit and another part right now here is known as clamping unit this is called clamping unit because here we clamp the mold and all the mold related things are done here uh, so this particular section is called as clamping unit so guys uh, let's begin with our injection unit what are the things in injection unit each and every single thing i am going to tell you uh, about what are its uses and what are it's called so each and everything you will let to know in this particular video starting from the hopper this is particularly known as hopper in this we charge the material the plastic material which is in the pallet form we charge in this particular hopper from the hopper the material directly moves to the barrel here uh, you can see that the barrel cylindrical shape barrel this is called the barrel uh, raw material after hopper goes through the barrel and in this particular baller heaters and thermocouples are attached and inside this particular baller there is a reciprocating screw you can see that this is the heaters are attached over uh, barrel and uh, thermocouple will also be there thermocouple is popularly known as heat sensing device you can see the thermocouple this is called thermocouple and thermocouple is a heat sensing device so we use to sense the heat of this particular bar barrel with the help of this thermocouple and this is covered so you can uh, it would be a safer one uh, this particular section is covered with a metal frame you can clearly see it so inside it there is a heater a uh, hot heater you should not touch with bare hand because uh, it's it's hazards and it's harmful uh, you can get an electric shock if you directly touch uh, the heater so you don't have to touch it directly so uh, here you can understand what is the what is the uh, what are the things inside this particular in the previous video i have also told you about uh, the heaters you can watch that particular video also in which you will let to know uh, i have told in the open machine so you can clearly uh, get the idea what the heaters we use so this was the barrel and after the barrel here the uh, material is being injected out and this is the you can see that the, there is a hydraulic movement for injection unit forward and backward from here this linear actuator help to uh, move this particular unit in the forward and backward direction here you can see that there is a charging scale in which uh, you will see how much material you charged and how much your screw is coming back the uh, when your screw will move backward for uh, charging or refilling uh, the movement uh, will be shown here and after that uh, inside this particular panel you can see all the electric circuits are there all the things like contactor relay relay timer transformer uh, your drives and all each and everything uh, will be here servo controllers and all will be uh, there so these are the things mainly found in injection unit of your machine so injection unit plays a vital role because all the injection process are being done uh, with this this is an uh, switch on and off button you can see it uh, we call it as switch on and off you can just directly it's like an mcb you can turn it on or turn it off this particular mcb so uh, this 
here you can see a pressure gauge is also there it will represent uh, the pressure how much uh, it has been clearly written uh, what are the things and uh, this is the pressure gauge you can uh, remember it uh, it will show your injection uh, pressure how much uh, your injection uh, pressure is been performing and coming to this this is an hmi popularly we called it as plc programmable logic control but truly it is known as human interface here we feed the settings and all each and every single setting uh, we give on this particular hmi like injection like uh, moltenage and all each and every single setting uh, what the temperature you want to give each and everything you will give here is also an emergency stop button and uh, an uh, alarm uh, here you can see that alarm sensor alarm will occur here and it will just uh, blow away and uh, you can clearly see uh, another gauge is also there for uh, measuring the pressure <coughs> moving to the next you can see here it these are known as tie bars a hard steel uh, metal uh, popularly known as tie bars uh, tie bars helped in uh, moving your plates and uh, also align your mold so tie bar plays a vital role and important role and the distance between two by two tie bars is known as tie bar distance we call it as tie bar distance for example this is one tie bar you can see and that is another tie bar so the distance between these two tie bars is known as tie bar distance this is a moving plate and this is fixed plate fixed plate uh, what happened fixed plate doesn't move it's particularly fixed and you can see uh, the nozzle and its orifice from where we inject out the material inside the mold the injection is done from this particular orifice and uh, this is a fixed plate here we fix the mold and this is a moving plate it help in uh, closing and opening the mold this plate uh, helps in closing and opening of the mold this plate moves forward and this plate also moves backward so this is an important uh, plate for moving forward and backward so this is known as moving plate uh, and another plate that is fixed that is known as fixed plate uh, it it move with the help of hydraulic toggle or it uh, moves with the help of hydraulic ram uh, two different things are there a toggle system or ram system is used for mostly for uh, clamping out the mold and uh, here it has been ejector rod you can clearly see that for ejecting out the material uh, we use the ejector rod so this is the clamping unit of your machine popularly uh, you can see the model also written here the company name like forza 2800 kilo newton that means 280 ton machine is uh, uh, this and here you can see that uh, it is for uh, one box has been there in which you get the oil the uh, dirty oil you get directly in this bottle and you can replace that so it's a good thing uh, with respect to the machine uh, you directly get your uh, dirtiest oil now moving to the next uh, first of all you can see this machine is uh, a good precise machine uh, doesn't take too much area and uh, moving further which each and everything you can see here uh, right now uh, here you can see one more thing an important uh, thing popularly known as heat exchanger you will get here uh, this is a heat exchanger I have already uh, make an video of heat exchanger how it works so heat exchanger basically help in exchanging the heat the uh, heat exchange from hot to cold and this is your lubrication unit you can see here the lubrication oil and all uh, these things uh, also done from here and these are the ejector blowers uh, you can just uh, when your machine needs an ejector blower you can just directly pin your air here and uh, with the uh, uh, air pipe you can just use your ejector blower so this is an important function guys and moving to the next here you can see uh, some cooling uh, water ports are there to give the sufficient amount of water uh, that is coming from cooling tower we use this uh, particular inlet and outlet ports and now this is the rear section door safety door you can see that how tough is that and uh, you must have to close this particular do door while running the machine for the safety purpose and remember uh, you should not bypass this particular door via limit switch there is a limit switch attached to these doors 
uh, and uh, sometimes what happen we just bypass it so please don't bypass that particular limit switch because it's dangerous for you and uh, for safety purpose uh, because safety is most important thing in terms of injection molding so guys remember it doesn't uh, please don't bypass it uh, because bypassing it will cause several accidents and here it has uh, upper side door also there in this particular machine somehow a uh, few machines give uh, this particular door it's not that much necessary uh, but somehow it's also been an important in the terms of safety purpose so that uh, nothing can fall from upper side so this is an important thing you guys uh, have might have seen this particular door if you haven't seen uh, right now i'm showing you can see that this particular door now moving to the under section you can clearly see that uh, these are the hydraulic pipes you can see in the uh, attached over your injection unit and uh, here you fix motor and all uh, it uh, completely closed each and everything uh, because right now it's an open machine uh, so it's in a, a maintenance condition so i'm just showing you all these are the walls like each and every wall you will get here injection wall back pressure wall suck back wall each and every single walls you will get uh, attached to the injection unit in this particular suck back wall back pressure wall injection walls uh, e uh, each and everything charging wall uh, all the walls are here so when uh, your that particular function uh, started the your wall is been activated and that person uh, that particular function started to run so this is your walls guys hope you are uh, able to see each and everything mostly uh, there uh, also written over uh, your walls in all the machines uh, whatever i have seen about injection molding machine if the machine is some older condition then you might have not been seen this you can see the each and every wall how it has been perfectly fitted so this is the wall and uh, there is also uh, some greasing points also in your machine so this is the proper machine overview of your injection molding machine uh, guys i am i have tried to tell you each and every single thing uh, but certain things might have been missed so i'll literally i'll cover uh, those things also but in this particular you will get an basic idea uh, what are the things inside this particular uh, machine what are uh, what we call them so each and everything uh, i have tried to cover you in this overview of the machine so guys if you are new or old to our channel and yet not subscribe please subscribe and press the bell icon for the latest notification and uh, thank you guys for uh, watching the complete video and uh, hope you enjoyed a lot thank you friends and have a great day